Thank you for joining us in this 5-Minute Paranormal. I'm T. I'm Phil. And Phil, I'm going to hand over the reins to you because we just finished part two yeah. of the investigation of Maryville down in Charleston, South Carolina. Correct. And you wanted to go a little deeper into this topic. Wanted to go a little bit deeper. Right. Because I think we often see what I will call the lighter side of paranormal investigation, at the very least from our channel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, there may be some more sensationalized content and out that, there. That's, yeah, and you know what? That's where this kind of feels like... Wait. I don't want to say it was a demon attack because I really don't think it was a demon attack. No. Okay? I'm no. just going to come out and say I don't think I was attacked by a demon. But... But you were impacted negatively by whatever energy or presence was at this location. What a delightful way to put it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> How do you like that for diplomatic? Yeah, yeah. There was no something kidding. there that just we weren't. We were just going to dance around right. that D word yeah. and just not. Well, come I, out I and could say, say it. demon till the day is old, and we could even have a whole discussion about we did. When is a demon not a demon? Exactly. <laughs> so there we go. So but let's, let's, so, let's, so, so what what do you want to know from my perspective? What is it that you want to hear? So from from your perspective <clears throat> and in reviewing the evidence, I kind of picked up hints when you started to feel off. Yeah. I want you to tell me when you noticed you started to feel off. So I was really feeling off the moment we walked into the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, and let me also set that up. This was different from when we went to TWA at night. Mm -hmm. This was different from Crescent. I mean, it was different from uh, the old hospital on College Hill. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I I did not feel uh, the same when I went into when I went into that property. It well even even when we were sitting outside the car. I don't know if you remember this when we, when we pulled up to the property. I do. We are cracking jokes about how. Oh my God, Boo! What have you gotten us into? Yeah. This looks like a serial killer's house. You know, we're going to disappear. You it know? did. Oh, I mean, it did. It, did. it, did. it really did. Uh, and that is not a fault on that is not a fault on the uh, on the on the host. I remember the host knocking and saying, "Hey, we're coming in." Yeah, you know, they did. They did all the right things they as far did. as they, introducing us to yeah. the to the property or introducing us to whatever was at the property. Yeah, letting us know they were bringing in, in new that people. respect. In that respect, the hosts were spot on yeah. and they did. Mm -hmm. They they were great. Mm -hmm. Now I wanna I'm gonna I'm gonna pause you here. Okay. Okay, because we did come in, we loaded gear in, right. and we kind of we started some recordings up mm -hmm. while we were going through mm -hmm. that process and. And I can you're laughing and, and being tea. Yeah. But meanwhile, you're also feeling like this bit of this discomfort. Uh, and you made a choice to you didn't really share that until later in the night. And well and, and, because I wasn't feeling it. Okay. I mean I wasn't feeling it until I left the front room. I was in okay. the front room. So you were even and aside mentioned... from the slightly like this is a uncomfortable space, but mm -hmm. you didn't you didn't feel any any threat from the location until later. No, but but I will say it wasn't a, a, a discomfort. I did not feel welcome. Mm -hmm. The the closest I think I've ever come to that feeling was when we were in Tuckahoe, and if you remember, there was a there was a smokehouse, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I said, I don't feel welcome here. Yeah, I remember. And that. so I stepped out, I and that. we had that shared experience, and it was really cool. But it was that same feeling, but but ramped up a little more. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and as I was I was in the front room, and I was trying to get the the conversation going. I did feel like there was a, and maybe I was interpreting the the, the repetitiveness of school and where and mm -hmm. uh, show yourself. I was trying to move the the conversation forward, and right. whatever was there did not want to do that. Yeah, but I remember at one point I was feeling a little dizzy. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I joined you all. Yes, in the double bedroom. Yes, and so that is when. You told us right away when you came in there, you were feeling just a little bit off. Yeah, dizzy. And that you were just going to dizzy. And I wanted and, to come and in here and chill out. And just chill out and sit down. In retrospect, what I feel like we should have done in that moment and what we will do in the future is say, that maybe let's step outside. Mm -hmm. The moment you start feeling a little bit queasy, dizzy, mm -hmm. might be a good idea to leave the property for a few minutes, kind of gather yourself, See if it passes. Right. Go back in. And yeah, in retrospect, 
that that's easy to say, but when you're <laughs> in the moment and and you're experiencing the narrative that we were experiencing in that back room, I did not want to throw right. off the rhythm right. of what was happening there. Now granted, at that time, I was feeling fine. Yeah. But I do think... Uh, in, fine enough. Fine enough, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, uh, the dizziness had passed. Right. And I will also say that that instead of it, instead of you, I would say point one would not be to take a break. I would say that would be point two. Point one, though, would be to communicate with your team members. Mm -hmm. And that was something that Nick McGear yeah. leaned on to. Yeah. You know, he was saying, talk to me, let me know if you're feeling weird, let me know if you're feeling queasy, mm -hmm. let me know if you're having a stomachache. Yeah. I need to know these things in context of what was happening. Yeah. And I will say point zero, <laughs> point zero <laughs> is you really need to be self-aware on your investigations. You need to listen to what your body is telling you because this is your best piece of investigating I mean, equipment. That's Paranormal Investigation 101. Yeah, yeah. That's Paranormal yeah. Investigation yeah. 101. But we all, we all get caught up in the moment. It exactly. is very easy to but ignore where, those but, signals. Yeah. But where I felt like I was losing control, and I think that's the, that's yes. the other important thing. When I, when, I, when I was feeling dizzy, I said, you know what, I'm gonna go to a different part of the house, and I did, the dizziness passed, mm -hmm. I felt fine. Mm -hmm. Then we got into the, to the back room, uh, master bedroom, and that was when I felt the back spasm, and it started to increase. And I remember when I was, when I was, uh, when I was reviewing the evidence, I didn't realize how fragmented my thoughts had become. And you were saying like, and Boo was also noticing that that, that I, my my hands were like like you were like fists, fists were clenched. You were and your body was rigid. And yeah. I've never I've never seen T like that on any investigation. No matter how much I've pissed him off by talking <laughs> over him or bugging him about the light or never. or 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 uh, telling me to stay in the moment. Don't stop talking. <laughs> stop talking to stream. I mean, I was, but I what? But I wasn't angry. I was just, and, and it wasn't. It wasn't like a back, yes, we had been walking around Charleston the night before and I was fine the next day. We had a great night's sleep, we slept in, we mm -hmm. were all good. But this, this back pain was literally going all the way from my lower back all the way up to my upper back and I could feel it starting to seep into my shoulders. Yeah, it was it was weird. Without explanation. Right. I mean, there was, was no absolutely. physical reason that I can think of that you should have been having that experience. And not only did did you all pick up something was wrong with me? But even stream, when mm -hmm. you look at the stream, you'll notice mm -hmm. that there are all these concerned messages saying, T doesn't sound right. Mm -hmm. They weren't even there and they knew something yeah. was wrong. Yeah. And, and I was also off in that I was forgetting to hit record on my devices. Mm -hmm. I know I've done that before, but, but this was, it was ridiculous yeah. that I was having this issue. You know what's interesting though, at this time too, as I went back to look at the evidence, yeah. I have had numerous failures on my recording gear. Right. One of my recorders stopped. Mm -hmm. The FLIR just cut out, and I tried to piece that footage back together, and it is a weird, distorted mess. Meanwhile, so strange. On my side of it, I was noticing that the spike was just, as you saw mm -hmm. in the footage, it was rapid yeah. fire. It <laughs> was, it, it was yeah. just going off, and not only was it going off, it was going off in in like the two fives and the fives. It even spiked as high as seven point five yeah. at one point. Yeah. And that's in the words of Nick McGear, if it's a one zero or lower, I'm not interested. Mm -hmm. You have my attention when you get to two five. And yeah. on an average, I didn't even try to average up all this stuff. But on an average, I would say I was jumping around mm -hmm. somewhere between two five and five, yeah. and then the occasional seven five. And whether it's a team of two, whether it's a team of four, it doesn't matter. You need to have somebody looking out for you and covering your back in a situation like this. I, I did. I felt a lot safer yeah. knowing that you were there, knowing that Boo mm -hmm. and Zombie were there. You see a teammate in trouble, you make sure that... Well, the investigation should stop yeah, there. That you should stop the, the, the investigation. The investigation Because stops. the team comes before the investigation. Um, good example. Katrina mm -hmm. was having an issue at a location. I want to say it was a place that was leaning a little too heavily into it. Mm -hmm. And Jack was like, let's get her out of here. And, you know, he I, and, oh, I wish I remembered which episode that I, was. But, but I you remember, know, yeah. I remember and, that and moment. And that is and why. Like that. And that is why Jack Osborne 
you make me want to be, yeah, let's take it to this one. Jack Osborne, you make me want to be a better paranormal investigator. <laughs> we would have been better prepared had we known the history. Had we had a better idea mm. of what the history is, I think, because when we went into Crescent, mm. we knew what we were getting into. Yeah. To some extent with TW, no, I take that back. With TW, we didn't know <laughs> no what we idea. were getting into. We didn't even know how to investigate. No, no, we didn't. <laughs> Um, when we went to St. Albans, we knew what we were getting to. When we went to Blackburn, we knew what we yeah. were getting into. You can't rely on a property owner to necessarily have all of the history or have accurate history. Fair enough. You really should do some of your own research. Right. Right. And on that note, I would say we would love to hear from you. Yes. If you had a bad experience, how did you handle it? Were you yeah. alone? Were you with a team? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so go on ahead and leave us a comment on this 5-Minute Paranormal. And while you're there, you know what to do. Like and subscribe to the channel and enable notifications for whenever we put up new content because all of this interaction really helps us out at Old Spirits. That also includes if you have an idea for a 5-Minute Paranormal that you'd like to see us cover, go ahead and drop it and we would love to take that challenge on. So feel free to do so. And thank you so much for joining us. On behalf of everyone here at OSI, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the field.